Hi there and welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers to Bavaria. And yeah, this is our son and uh, this is our other son and this is us, King Arnulf of Bavaria, just returning from a hunt. The year 896 was um, a really interesting year for the historical Carolingians. It was when the historical Prince Arnulf, yeah, that guy that we are still, went to Italy and he was just about to take Rome and um, he actually had himself crowned Holy Roman Emperor and then he suffered a stroke, forced, is forced to call off his campaign, shadow of his former self and returns to Bavaria. And that was the end and then someone from House Gudeshi somewhere here returned to take Italy. But look at what happened with us. Apparently Lotharingia led some war or inherited something here. <laughs> so something of Italy has been retaken by the Carolingians. And that is um, here you can see how it's good. Deshi. Let's see what they will do and let's see what happens after Robert of Lotharingia bites the bullet. But let's be honest, he looks very healthy right now. He looks good. What we're doing is uh, we're kind of waiting for some possible people to, to give out um, lands to. We gave something to our good Prince Ekahar, our son and heir. Uh, we could give something to Arnulf Carling, our grandson here. We'll see how, um, I mean, he's our ward. So we kind of preserving that and we're also looking to collect some money to do something about Polavia. The dream of our father was to convert these heathen lands and we might go into that. A duel demanded imposing man is standing the road ahead of us. Oh my god, Weimar Theodorisian. He is severely injured. He is possessed and a flagellant and he still has 13 prowess. What the heck? We have 14 prowess and we have our bodyguard here. I've bested dozens of men in combat and honestly all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road looking for someone better than me, someone I can learn from. If you can best me in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant and so on this day I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. Uh, I have no interest in either you or a fair fight. The whole entourage tramples him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you might be less valuable after I win. Will we win, though? That's too risky. Cholo will show you how it's done. Nah, I have no interest in either you or a fair fight. We're wounded. Otherwise, we would do it. He was swiftly trampled by our entourage. He's still severely injured. And we arrive back here. Thank God I can go inside again. Yeah, I mean, we're a callers. We're a callers, man. We're just callers. Let's see. We're, uh, we could go here, but we will not arrive. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things happen, right? Things happen. So we might prepare for that campaign to Polabia. And how should we prepare? Maybe we should hire more armored footmen. Aha. Uh -huh. I hope my pledge of submission alone is evidence enough of my honor. Yeah, show Count Heribert in. Serve me well, Heribert. Uh, let's give us some more armored footmen here. Wow, 90. Oh, doesn't matter. We need some more. We need some more. How is Polabia doing? They have High Chieftain Felicia and Silesia. Oh, that's his only ally. And that guy, he has a truce with. Once we have a little bit more income and once we're maybe at 100 gold, uh, we have guys in guys in the house and we have hunters lodges now. Then we should start to invade. How are we doing? We're feeling fine. Maybe we can heal one day. That would be really good. Ah, we promoted the culture in Prague. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, where the heck is Prague now? It was around 
here, right? Give me some Prague. Here we go. So Prague is Bavarian now, and it's the it's a dukedom capital. So that's pretty great. Um, this thing belongs to the Duchy of Bohemia. That yeah, and Prague is the center of that. Wonderful. Okay. Um, let us see. Where can we convert? We can convert in Osterland. And let us also promote more culture. Maybe in Pilsen. Pilsen is a great county. We're on that mission, though, to Christianize and spread the culture. It should be good. It should be good. A reading in Barony of Regensburg. The celebration had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Queen Hildegard suggested a reading. Oh, interesting. What are you suggesting, my darling? A clock soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress her. Hmm, what is she? Ah, uh, she's a cowardly absolver. What does that mean? Very forgiving. Mm, well, ignore, pr not punish prisoners, pardon criminals. Unlikely to start hostile schemes. Hmm. Cowardly. What does she have? She's lazy, forgiving. So poems are out of the question, I think. But poems uh, would be at least learned. Paranoid, lazy, and forgiving. Whoa, the Almagest would give us a chance to learn. A chance to learn. Yeah, why not? Something pious would also be good. But she's not pious. She's also a drunkard. Yeah, she's a little bit pious, but also she's lazy. Something pious, yeah, like the small book on theism. She seemed completely engrossed. She later approaches me. Good choice, Arnold, she says, and not an acknowledgement. It was great, wasn't it? Wow, smoldering chemistry from these Christian books, eh? Read more Christian books if you want to get it on, they say. And that is how we do it. Our court grounder increased. Very nice. I've discovered that Count Engelschalk's inherited contract obliges him to more. Yeah, time to right this wrong. Thank, thank you, steward. That was a good deed you did. What is that? Ukria? What the heck? A religious adventurer in here. We'll see about that. Something available? A hunt? Oh, we could do a hunt ourselves. Oh well then. Oh well, the sting of rejection. You're a perceptive man, Arnold. But I do not like you that way, says Queen Hildegard and hesitates. Only God knows what the future might hold for us. Oh yes, of course. Ugh. Okay, let's sway someone else. And uh, well, let's, for let's forget about this air. Hey, spy master. I hope you like, I don't know. I don't know what you like. I don't know. Wow, there's Vistulania. What strange things are forming here. Hildegard's told Rick Rickgard, the Doyle Volga language. Nice. Okay, okay, wife. Okay, okay. A demonstration of leadership? My, my Marshal Count Anno been hovering around my council meetings lately, knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him. I could probably engage him in conversation, on the other hand, it might be better for him to simply see me interacting with my men. There's something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. Um, yeah. Respected figurehead. Or he could... Again, yeah. Oh, let us discuss methods of communication. Yeah, we, we want him to be more friendly. Mm. Oh no, Boleslava died from what? To an uh, inherent weakness? Oh, she was infirm already and feeble. I hoped she would get something to eat as a cup bearer, but hey. Vernard von Frontenhausen would be good at that? Sure. Frontenhausen, here we come. And what will happen soon? Well, they are fighting here. 
There's a chiefdom, a Catholic chiefdom. Count Houghton of Crunch. It's a blade master now. Nice. We're blade mastering around. Oh, Count Dieter's grand wedding in Pula. Greetings, King Arnulf of Bavaria. I'm delighted to invite you to celebrate the marriage of Susanna Dugmagojevic and I in Pula. Hey, Dieter. Yeah, you're about the same age. Sure, sure, sure. Join the join the wedding. Count Dieter, where where is he? Where will we travel to? To to where? To Venezia. Okay. A forest is a forest guide good? A bit, but we need a mountaineer. I'm sure. Mountaineer is best. Yeah. Maybe a forder? No. Uh, a jungle stalker. A desert warrior? No, no, no. A forest guide would avoid one more situation. Yeah, why not? Let's join the Grand Wedding. Mojimir will be recruited. He's a dishonorable villain. Oh, yes. How good is that? And that's our forest guide. She's frail. <sighs> we always hire the best people. A tentative start, yeah. He'll be entering holy matrimony with Susanna, and the wedding should be nice, like most weddings are. As my health is failing, I still look forward to this event. I suppose we must... Outliving a ch What? Arnulf has been murdered? How could you do this to Arnulf? I have, if I have sinned, why did you not punish me instead? He was blameless, my perfect son. I've had so much more in store for him. What? He died under mysterious circumstances? He did not deserve this. What the heck? At least Count Arnulf of Prague is under our guidance. What about him? He's a pilgrim at two? What the heck, little one? Regent is his mother. Ooh, Count Arnulf. I mean, it's Prague, right? I entered into Regency too. I'll protect him currently. He's a zealot. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, let's look about him from time to time. My goodness. I hope we can get something to do at that wedding. Oh. Kunisa Carling. That's our granddaughter. Against ah, Dieter. Wonderful. We are at the wedding. Van Ijko, Van Dragana, Count Susanna, Count Dieter. And, yeah, us. Wanting to... Just relax. A knight entered a wrestling contest and we gained 35 prestige. So wonderful. Look around myself in excitement and it's about to begin. Everyone is standing at the ready. I cannot wait. Huh? Wow, there's a lock of hair. And everything is going well, and we even get some experience. Prepared conscription, army gold maintenance goes down. Oh yes, please. Oh yes, please. Eckhart shirked his duty as Diarch. Okay. Here we go. Count Dieter reminisces about the own wedding ceremony. Uh, this is your wedding ceremony, Dieter. The ceremony has finally reached its climax. The ri traditional rituals have been completed and all that's left is the final vows, the formal consent, the seal on the marriage. As both Count Dieter and the Countess Susanna say I do, the crowd starts cheering and we all stand witness to the beginning of their life together. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. formal part of the wedding is finally behind us. Everyone is smiling in anticipation of the gargantuan meal, exciting entertainment and general revelry that we are about to be offered. Let's tuck in. Enjoy. The banquet's hall trim hall's trimmings are beautiful. A medley of murals and rare flowers, even if they are not strictly the most expensive available. In my seat both Count Regina and Duke Wickman 
Share their opinions of the decorations. Uh, ha, ha, who is that? Oh, he's from Lotharingia, and that guy is from Gelre. I don't care what you say, Drolls Regina. I like it. An effort was made. You're just being snobbish. Honestly, I have to say, I prefer a Wickman searches for the polite phrase, heavier touch on the fripperies. Let's not get involved. We want to rec uh, cheer. I mean, we don't know any of them, and we just want to. We just want to chill. Everybody back at his host with frankly interminable number of speeches. What will our speech be? We could praise the party. Because we are intent on recreation. Now we will praise the happy couple as expected. It's good. It's just good. Hmm. Oh, is there anything more jovial than a good feast? Guess throng to and fro, eating and chatting while flickering torchlight plays of every wall. Light bouncing like laughter around the hall. Not that I would be overly bothered if the rest of them were having a poor time, but I can still appreciate a pleasant atmosphere in moderation. Sometimes it's nice to simply sit back and enjoy the little things in life. Um, yeah, good, for f good folk to mingle with here. Yeah. Let's be friends with some people and chill. Any reasonable standards, the evening's food is an exciting medley of textures, flavors, and spectacle. Well, this is a particularly special occasion. Near my seat, both Prince R R Delchis and Mayor Adelhart share their opinions about the spread. Ah, good level notes for Delchis turning over a chunky morsel. Too much fanciful decoration is an invitation for poison. But a feast should near bankrupt the realm, Adelhart snorts. Else, what's even the point? Uh, um, yeah, Mayor Adelhard has the right idea, nah, 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 not along without paying attention, we want to be friends with Dieter. Sway, Caranthian culture, a commoner of Caranthian heritage has been accosted in the, oh yeah, we can now talk good about uh, the Carinthians. Let's do that. We have so much prestige anyway. The bond between Dieter and Susanna crosses the divides. Though not the absolute grandest affair, the evening's entertainments are still an exciting array of actors, acrobats, jugglers and more. Near my seat, both Prince Rodelkis and Duke Wickman share their opinions of the display. Mercurial people performers? This is plenty. It's risky to have too many in one place, Raquel this nods. Bah, whilst they're adequate, they're hardly the spectacle I was expecting, Wickman Nords. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, he's learned, so why not? I'm going to agree with Mequin. And gain some lifestyle experience along the way. Every feast, there's always one, every single feast, one long winded, ill born, pissant cornering people who just will not be silent. This time it's Susanna. What, the bride? <laughs> and she's completely woefully self-absorbed. Our conversation is rife with hypocrisy. Poorly thought out ideas. Just plain idiocy. Yet the woman is entirely convinced that she's some kind of fascinating social genius. I'm going to scream. Shut up! What? We would be snooty. Parochial vassals. Eh... That's very interesting. Could become approachable. Hmm, I don't know. Grin and bear it. A weak hook on her. Could gently exit. Uh, it never ends. Yeah, let's let's try to gently exit, but it never ends. Okay, at least we're friendly with her. Feels like I've been dancing, mingling, dancing, singing for days. Soon the celebrations will wind down, and they will go to their private chambers. It's time, it's time. Let's celebrate a bit. And look what they did. Wonderful. Spiced wine vendors praise Count Dieter. Nice. One after another, all guests are leaving. It's time for me to depart too. Congratulations again. 
We lost some stress, we gained some prestige. We're a recluse, but hey, let's finish this grand wedding and go home. It was a great time that we had. Uh, let's negotiate an alliance with our little son. Grandson, that is. My goodness me. Uh, we will not allow him a marriage. Let's go. Let's travel. Caranthian women. I've seen the world and beheld its many wonders in my travels, but never have I beheld such beauties as the ones I've seen in Gurs. Truly, Caranthian women are a cut above all the rest. A particularly fascinating specimen has taken my eye as late a peasant woman by the name of Bogumila. Um, I don't know. I mean, we're reclusive. A pretty little firebrand. She's far too pleasing to my eye to spend her day slaving away in girls. Um, she's beautiful. My new paramour. I mean, our wife snubbed us. But, yeah, alas, I cannot give my love so freely. Because, yeah, we're, we're just too sick. Tempting fruit. A road takes us to, through treacherous parts of girls. While I scan for any dangers ahead, a rustling bush grabs my attention. Could it be a wild animal? As I brace myself for impact, Thietma jumps out of the bush instead. A bodyguard holding a plant. You scared me, Thietma. Anyway, let me see what you have here. Some kind of a fruit, I exclaim. Yes, it looks and smells so delicious. I wonder what it tastes like. Maybe I'll just take a bite. Oh, okay. Mm. Let him eat it. Reinvigorates the body and mind. Wonderful. And we, f we find a knight errant. We always find these people. It's known to the people of Feldkirchen seem to profess a special devotion towards their knights and their legends. My lord, the knight says, bowing his head, it's most unfortunate fortunate that you and I came to meet at this crossroad. For I'm in search of a marvelous fountain which water is said to cure all illnesses. Oh, I would so like to find that. If you were to help me in my quest, I shall pay homage to you. But I want that water. Chola is quick to interrupt. Wait, my lord, I know this knight. It's Volto. He's a gambler, and so. Uh, really nice armor you have there. Care to share? Oh, we're just and gallant, okay. I shall never leave a light, leave a knight unattended. Make him see reason. Yeah, I shall never leave a knight unattended. Lead the way. The knight leads us to a small clearing where a natural fountain glimmers. The light reflects on its surface with a blissful shimmer and makes the water look so bright that it feels like a second sin. Careful, a beast, a guardian, night points to a stag, standing between us and the fountain. Oh, ooh. I'll distract it, you get the water. What the heck? Nah. Now you will make a fine distraction. The call isn't just... Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we want healing water. Oh, that will decrease our stress gain. No, what an adventure, so inspiring. We're also just... Let's not do this, it's... It's a bit, uh, it's a bit crazy. What did we gain now? Did we gain, we gain the calling a house banner? What the heck? And Sidmar is a forder now. Wonderful, wonderful. King Louis is the next dynasty head. Oh my goodness, he looks... Wow, he, he doesn't even have an heir. That's his heir. Prince Carloman of a Thousand Faces. Well, he has at least an heir, and that's the king of Akiten. So... <sighs> that would be something. We arrive. At long last, I'm finally home. There's nothing better... And arriving back in Regensburg after a long journey, we've been gone for 430 days. My goodness me. Ah, oh, Prince Eckhart gained 150, and we are back home. Let's see what we can do. I mean, it could be time to attack Volabia, right? They're allied to that drunkard here. 
They have some troops, but we're stronger. And we have more allies, so we could definitely start some kind of holy war against this man. A holy war for the duchy. The duchy of Lusatia. High chieftain of Lusatia, sure. Slovanskin rulers may join the war. Ah, that's that's fine. That is fine. That is fine. We shall start here. Raise everyone. And... Can we call in allies? No? Oh my goodness. I hope this doesn't go wrong. Uh, Udal Schalk, our executioner commander and knight leads this. I mean, he's an organizer, an open terrain expert and a forder, all right. I mean, he's, he's pretty exceptional with this. Uh, let's go to Torgau, shall you? Oh, there's... The people are already moving around. To Dessau we must seek... We must seek the decision with Eckerhard. Here we go. This is how it goes. Twelve knights against ten champions. And we're beating them handily. Engel Schalk the second wounded someone. What's happened? There's a questionable concoction. Walking between audiences, I overhear my enthusiastic court physician, Karl, uh, discussing his latest flight of fancy. It's supposedly the strongest potion in the existence and comes only from the farthest reaches of the world. Or so say the merchants and alchemists I've spoken to. We pulse out a vial of pale yellow liquid, swirling it beneath my gorgeous curling noses. They say it grants vigor and long life. It's favored by those who are going into battle, but the, only the strongest can handle its power. <laughs> Let my food taster have a try first. Only God can grant us strength. Uh, isn't fit for a beast. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, we could be feeling unwell for... F <laughs> Lothar von Lengenfeld. Uh, could die from that. We could die from that, but even more worrying. We could feel unwell, and we're already in a bad spot. Well, but we're ambitious, right? Strongish potion, you say? Give it here. Give it here. Ah. I think we failed. Yeah, we're feeling unwell now. We're ailing, actually. But we're invited to a hunt. Yeah, let's join the hunt, shall we? Maybe it will be the last thing we do. While everybody's fighting, we're joining the hunt. I hope it goes well. We need some relaxation. Our glory is widely known. We captured Swirtupelk. Wonderful. Uh, we have our army here. Let's split that thing. And uh, do we have someone good at sieging? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. We shall go over here to Nizizia and siege. Travels to come. Journeying through Leonsburg. I pass by a peculiar-looking tent, splayed open, with its yet more peculiar-looking occupant inside. Oh, come in, O mighty king. I can tell you I have many miles to go, and I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. The strange man has piqued the interest of my entourage, but am I willing to pay for a reading? Tell me my future. We could get good omens or bad omens. I'm not interested. Seal the tent and have this witch burn. Nah, that's too stressful. I'm not interested. It's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. There they come. Let's see. Weird whispers. 
Notice Arias avoids me more than usual. Our oh, courtier. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's send Arias away, right? Let's send him away. Get out of my sight now. We're making camp. Let's let's relax. Let's relax with our prince, archbishop, and vassal. We want to relax. We want to relax. There's the fort here. Mm, there's the fort in Cottbus. Could take over. And our other army could come too. We shall catch them off guard, I hope. By the wing, Maya Walter assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the grasslands near Linz. With any luck, we'll find a group of bustards, and our hawks will have a great sport. The beaters' teams are ready with their hounds, and a well appointed spot has been selected. Let's get out there. Mediocre prestige. We don't care. Let's attack. The lucky glove. Count Dietpold of Shazlov has been the star of the hunt thus far. His hawk's talons forever dripping and red with fresh blood, so much that his glove seems to be a stained palm permanent chrism. I cannot help but pro what he has done to train such an obedient and masterful hunting bird, and he just loves. I wish I could tell you it was my good training, but speaking truthfully, my glove is blessed by God. I'd be willing to give it up for the right price. A lucky falconry glove? Uh, yeah, okay. I must have it! God. We will be ruined for this. We will be ruined for this. But give me that glove. Charge! Now, let's make, let's make quick work of these guys. Hopefully capture someone that we can sell. Mm, the game has a signal the party to hush. We have arrived at the release spot. From our vantage point, we can see several speckled bustards strutting about the poplar trees ahead the party halls as we prepare to remove our birds' hoods and set them one by one to their sport. It's time! It's time. And we're fighting, and we're getting reinforcements. Let's catch them. I watch excitedly as my hawk identifies a target and takes a wing from its watch. Soaring high into the air, the bustards are none the wiser as my hawk scans the ground from high above. Time and again my hawk swoops in for a kill, but misses, retreats, or only grazes its target. The hours of attempts the game have all but disappeared. The hawk is nearly exhausted and the light is fading. Well, it's a shame. Success chance was low anyways. We captured someone. Vincente. Interesting. Interesting. We are empty-handed. Let's leave this adventure behind for now, but we're we're a hunter and we're, we're less stressed, so it was all good. Let's finish that hunt. A local hero. A local hero. Well, let's finish the hunt first. As we traverse the plains, trudging through the grass, we encounter a modest wayward shrine, navely carved its sports across on its head and below, the wizard's words. Here lay Saint Adelheid of Salzburg, blessed daughter of Schaumburg. Adelheid of Salzburg, it seems a local spiritual figure is being patronized. These parts were not sanctioned by the Catholic clergy. Cast it down. Uh, Saint Adelheid, there's a nice ring to it. Oh, we cannot afford this. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Um. You can go siege Torgau or Nizizia. Yeah, let's siege that. We'll hopefully recover here. Siege the capital. Thank God we're home. We can go inside again. We can go inside. We are, ah, we could join the tournament. We can join a tournament. We're near broke. Uh, and we're sick. Let's not do it this time. We'll snub it for now. Compassionate Discord. Moved by my tribulations, Duke Gunpert has offered me his counsel and aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burden of my duties. But Wilhelm says Gunpert cannot be trusted. This is merely a plot to exploit you. Gunpert and Wilhelm. But Gunbert we can trust more, right? He's 
Forgiving, zealous and calm. I will place my trust in those who deserve it. Hmm. The three of us not find common ground? Uh, actually not. Uh, then defend the honor of a king? What the heck? I'll only praise my trust in those who deserve it. We made a friend. Wonderful. Things are going kind of nice. Let's hope we can uh, win this battle at once. What are these guys doing here? What are these guys doing? Ah, we captured them. Expectations. You're always there for me. And I hope you know that I'm grateful. Count Arnold approaches me in a rare display of appreciation. Um, this is what it means to be a guardian, little one. Nice, I've arrived in Regensburg. Oh, Dietpold, you bring money. I accept your generous gifts, Dietpold. And Hildegard comes of age. <coughs> Our daughter, they grow up so fast. She's an intricate web weaver, which is great. Mm. And a bold seller. Let's find her a spouse. King Adelbert of Aquitaine. Wonderful. That's best. And we gained some raid loot from these guys. Alliance formed. Wonderful. <coughs> Wonderful indeed. They are, oh, they're sieging here. Let's get closer. Capture that. I'll join in here. They're going away. Can we catch them still? There's some fight going on. We're recovering though. We inherited the Duchy of Nordgau and one of the titles from Queen Mother Glutz with the Insane of Bavaria. Ah! Duchy of Nordgau. Memory of Count Guntpold. Interesting. Well, good things happen to us from time to time, it seems. Hopefully, we can win this war soon. We have gained some money through generous uh, people. We have a new court artifact. We could sponsor someone new. He's a master, so he will be expensive. And uh, we'll see what we can do in general in the next episode. Will we survive or will we die? We're already ailing, we're unwell and ill. Will we ever heal? We'll see about that. I'm sorry, and uh, see you soon and happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan signing out. Have a great time until then, and happy gaming. See you soon.